Okay, let's get right into it. So you're from Tanzania. Just kindly give us a brief bio of your background and get right into the matter at hand. This is uh, the demise of the president of Tanzania. Yeah, thank you so much for inviting me. Um, my name is Evangelist Edward Malingo from Tanzania. Uh, I am a personal and self-supporting preacher, but I have been working with some local churches in Dar es Salaam, and still I'm in with the church membership, but most of the time I work uh, independent projects, in cons in including books, magazines, and videos. So I, I, even now I'm just working independently most of the time, and I'm publishing books continually as God lives. Amen. So friends, again, this morning I made contact with the evangelist and asked him if he could uh, impromptu share with us his views based on scripture on the current event there in Tanzania of what transpired with the president. My brother, your thoughts on what happened. Take us behind yeah. the scenes. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Um, firstly, before I go directly to the death of my president, I call my president because uh, he was a God-fearing president and I, I, I appreciate what he have done. So before I go directly about the death and what was going on before the death, you, we have been given inspiration through Ellen G. White as Seventh Adventists in the book Christian Services, page 50 and paragraph 1, which says, God is looking on his purposes in regard to his rebellious subjects will be fulfilled. The word has not been given into the hands of men. So God is permitting the elements of confusion and disorder to bear, to bear sway for a season. A power from beneath is working to bring about the last great sin in the drama. Satan coming as Christ and working with all deceivableness of the unrighteousness in those who are binding themselves together in secret societies. Just underlying this word is in secret societies. We must understand that whatever happens around the world now, it there is something, there is a power from the beneath is working to bring about the last great sin in the drama, which is the National Sunday Law. And we do believe that there is a cooperation of the secret societies as mentioned in this quotation from Christian Service, page 50 and paragraph one, that these people who are binding themselves together in secret societies, we must, they are doing after the devil and they are fulfilling their agenda, and they are thinking that the word has been given into the hands of men. Second quotation that I'm going to, to share with you before I spoke about the death sure. is from Great Controversy, page 6010, 610, paragraph 2. It says, while many of our lures are active agents of Satan, God also has his agents among the leading men of the nation. The enemy moves upon the servants to propose measures that would greatly impede the work of God. But statesmen who fear the Lord are influenced by the holy angels to oppose such propositions with unanswerable arguments. Thus a few men will hold in check a powerful current of evil. The opposition of the enemies of truth will be restrained that the third angel's message may do its work. So I'm concerned with this quotation uh, as I'm going to talk about the death of President Magufuri. Uh, this, this quotation is, so, is showing us that among the rulers of the nation, there are some certain agents who are very active and we have Godsey agents who are very active, though very few. So let's talk about what happened before the death of President John Pombe Magufuri in Tanzania. Last year, I was in Nigeria during the whole time of the lockdown, 
But my country, Tanzania, did not do lockdown. He rejected the masks. He, he rejected the vaccine this year. He rejected all the principles that were, uh, the, the policies that were given by the United Nations and the WHO concerning this uh, PREG-19. Uh, also, there are some points that we must understand about the stand of this dead president. He rejected this COVID-19 agenda, and he rejected the, the 20 billion um, bribe money from the UN, and it was published on many magazines. And we saw that he's, he told them that if they want to support Tanzania, then let them just forgive the debts, the, 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 the national debts, instead of providing more money to mm. Tanzania. Mm. But what was the reaction between him and the UN and the WHO? The answer is that the reaction was very negatively. And he was... Uh, he was regarded as somebody who is denying the presence of COVID-19. What, what I can say is that uh, there is something, as I have started with the quotation, that there is a power business that is working to bring about the last great sins. Why this issue is working with the kings of the eighth faith, and what will happen and what would have happened to other presidents that died? Let me go to Revelation 16 so that to give you understanding of what really happened. Mm -hmm. Revelation 60, 16 and verse 16, verse 13, it says, And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophets. For they are the spirit of devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and the whole world to gather them to the birth of, the, of that great day of God Almighty. Mm. We, and we should understand that there are spirits of devils which are symbolized by these authorities, the dragon authority, the beast authority, which is the papacy, and the false prophets, which, the, which are the apostate religious uh, authorities, but we understand the beast is the papacy, the dragon is the U.S. and the U.N., as the, they are working together, but the false prophets are those prophets who are prophesying that they should just obey what comes from the top, uh, the top power. So if we must understand that there are some agents of the devil that have been going to the king's offices, including Magufuri and the, all the presidency, what would happen for the kings of the earth that would reject this gathering together, mm. which is the one word, uh, one word government plan and one word religion plan? Good what point. would happen? Yes, yes. What would happen to them? The answer comes from the book of Daniel, chapter seven. Mm. Uh, when we talk about the three horns that were plucked out hmm. from on. the Brother, head of on, the beast. Yeah. Friends, are we understanding what's happening here? The evangelist emphasized Revelation 16, dragon, beast, false prophet. He also mentioned they will be, they unite to gather. When you gather together, it forms a one world government, one world religion. The evangelist is going to Daniel 7 now to show or to answer his question. What will happen to any leader, any person any group that refused to go along with this gathering together the dragon the beast the false prophet satan's three prong group of deception evangelists continue yes daniel 7 chapter 8, chapter 7 verse 8 it says i considered the horns and behold there came up among them another literal horn, before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up mm. by the roots. And behold, in this horn were eyes like the eyes of man and mouth speaking great things. We see during the development of the papacy for the first time, the prophets told us that there are, some, there are three nations that were plucked out. Mm. 
because they rejected to go alone with the gathering of the one world government of that time. Yes. So this nation, who rejected it, it showed that there were kings that were ruling uh, those states. They were, they were plugged out, they were killed, and they were, uh, even those nations, I mean, I'm talking about the three nations, uh, Helulai, Vandals, and Ostrogoths. Right. This is giving us the picture of what is happening and what will happen for this now. For this is the second session of the papacy mm. to, re to rule the world. So it will take just a few years, mm. few years for it is going to perdition, mm. as the book of Revelation 8 is telling us in Revelation 17. So we see that if these kings, these kings were killed and their nation thrown away, we must understand mm. that it is possible for it to happen now for all the kings of the earth that are rejecting their agendas, they, they may be thrown away. They may, even their nation may disappear mm. because of rejecting to be under this second session of the papacy. Mm. Okay, let me go direct now to some news to prove what yes, brother. I see beneath brother, under the beneath of this game. You're preaching. Go ahead. Take your time. Yeah. Uh, let me quote from the magazine, Time magazine, of, of September 20, 2016. It's, it's on the President screen. It's, it's on the screen, so go ahead. Yeah, President Barack Obama on Tuesday delivered his final address to the United Nations General Assembly, calling on leaders to work together and criticizing those who seek a simple rejection of global integration, a simple rejection of global integration. So this Obama, because this uh, climate change issue began hot in 2015 after the Paris Agreement, and we see that the announcement from Barack Obama, it was to criticize those who seek a simple rejection of global integration. Mm -hmm. And we will see from some magazine that the, after the president of Tanzania rejected the COVID-19 policies, he was criticized. Let me quote from VOA News. VOA News. It's, it's uh, on the screen. It's on the screen. Go ahead. January 28th and 20, 2021, it says Tanzania's president criticized the for dismissing COVID-19 vaccines. Mm. We see the statement from Barack Obama, it was to criticize those who seek a simple rejection of global integration. And we see the fulfillment in this year that Tanzania president criticized the for dismissing COVID-19 vaccines. Mm. Brother, hold, one, and hold then, one second, hold one second. And friends, what we're seeing here, so those who reject this, whatever solutions, the papacy, her allies, the three unclean spirits like frogs, project on the nations. They're not only going to be criticized, but also be persecuted, some put to death. And the evangelists will get to that. Let's take a look at um, another perspective. What's going to happen to God's faithful remnant people who reject Sunday worship by law? Can you see the application here? To combat calamities, to combat pestilences, will they also be threatened? Will they also meet the same demise as was Tanzania's president? That's the question. Has, the, has God's word prophesied these things? It's Revelation 12, 17. And also, Revelation 13, 15 through 17. I'll pause. Evangelist, continue. Yes, Pastor. All right. Okay, let me talk what happened just a few days after the president disappeared publicly. We understand that everyone who was watching, following on YouTube videos published by the Catholic priests in Tanzania, in Kodi priest by the name Kitima, Padre Kitima. This one published his talk concerning the president that our, why our country uh, is rejecting the COVID-19 policies 
And we understand we Catholics, we have many hospitals and our priests, more than 200 have died. So Patrick Tima, he was showing and revealing himself that he was against the president uh, stand. Hmm. And that time I was in Dar es Salaam, I was doing some videos. So I was concerned with that news. But also another video was published by the Catholic bishops. And they were talking something against the, the stand of the president. What I understood, I knew that something can happen. Something can happen. And just a few days later, a Kenyan magazine reported that uh, John Pombe Magufuri, president of Tanzania, have been driving to city hospital in Nairobi for COVID-19. But this one was denied by the gov government officials that it is not true. Then there was quietness. We didn't see him publicly. And it was just quiet until uh, March uh, 17. It was announced the, in the midnight that President John Pombe Magufuli have died for heart disease. It was reported publicly by the government uh, vice president that he died for not for COVID-19. He said for heart problem, for the heart problem. And I, I knew, I knew that he had the heart problem, but uh, as we are very curious in prophecy, we can understand if it was the heart, uh, what was this heart issue now, let me go on. Let me, let me read it from some news that we may sense something that happened. From the um, magazine published by Council, Foreign, Council on Foreign Relations, Johnny Magufuri, Tanzania's COVID denying president dies. You can read the sentence. It's showing that the president, because are you with me? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, the president, because he he was called a COVID-19 denying president, dies. And BBC also reported same thing that the president that rejected COVID-19 have died with rumors of COVID-19. They didn't say dialect, dialect if it is COVID-19, but they said COVID-19 rumors. You can just go to BBC and you will get the news. Right. So this, they, they didn't prove it to, if it was exactly COVID-19, but they were trying to make people knew that it was COVID-19. But the vice pres president that had been already inaugurated as the president mm -hmm. uh, published that it was heart issue. But let me give you some of my own view that we have you to understand. Let's go to the Bible in the book of Mark. The book of Mark is talking about the death of John the Baptist. If we are witnessing that event on that day, mm -hmm. and we could be asked, who killed Johnny? Okay, we may be found in some groups. Some would say the soldier killed John. Some mm -hmm. would say Herod killed John. Some would say this and that. But let me, let me read this. Mark 6, chapter 22. It's saying, and when the daughter of this, and when the daughter said, Herodias came in and danced and pleased the Herodias, and them that sat with him, the king said unto the damsel, Ask of me whatsoever thou wilt, and I will give it to thee. And he swore unto her, Whatsoever thou shalt ask of me, I will give it to thee, and to the half of my kingdom. And she went forth and said unto her mother, What shall I ask? And she said, The head of John the Baptist. And she came to she came in a straight way with hasty unto the king and asked, saying, I will that thou give me by and by in charge the head of John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. My question is: from this scripture, mm -hmm. who was the Kira? Was the soldier? or Herodi, or the daughter, or the mother. Hmm. We will see the channel of this persecution came from the mother mm -hmm. to the daughter, to Herodi, to the soldier. So if people would not view by zooming, 
they would say this soldier killed John the Baptist. Mm-hmm. Baptist. All this disease killed somebody. But if you you you, you view in depth, you will see that the mother was the source of the death of John the Baptist. Mm-hmm. Do you understand me? That's clear, brother. That's clear. And and based on prophecy, John the Baptist refused to go along with the agenda of Herod and Herodias. He refused to silence the voice of protest. And here we have a president who was protesting against the one world integration of politics and religion, refused to accept the actual so-called solution from the papacy and her allies. And we can see what has happened to him. And we're seeing what is coming also for God's remnant people in the last days. It's clear. Go ahead, evangelist. Amen. Okay, my concern also is that uh, the president, before he died, he gave some very uh, shocking statements. Yes, and, he said, and, and this, this is the point I would love for you to emphasize because it's filled with emotions. It seems as if the president actually sacrificed himself for the people. It seemed as if he knew what would have been the consequences for rejecting the solutions from the papacy and her allies, even the so-called bishops and Catholics in his land. He knew what would happen. However, he took a stand and sacrificed his life for the people. Go ahead, preacher. Amen. Amen. You know, the president gave many uh, statements before he died. One or two among the statements that he said, he was telling us as the people of Tanzania that he is delaying their agenda, not because of himself. He said, I'm not doing this for myself, but for you. Mm. And he was telling that, I know I will die, Mm. but remember me. I know you will remember me for good. And he was always repeating that, I know, I will die. Because these people, the whites, they don't love you. And when the, the day that he rejected the vaccine, he, he told, and it was published on magazines, that don't think that the whites love you so much. Don't love vaccines. Just to use the natural remedies and prayer. God will fight for us. Mm. And lastly, he was saying, I am sacrificing my I am sacrificing my life for you Tanzanian mm. not for the other countries mm. and even God will remember me even when I go to heaven may God give me even a a position just to lead some angels he was talking like uh something that is was kidding but it was really in his heart mm. uh, even until the last time he died I believe he was a Catholic, yes, but I have seen many Catholics president that died, was assassinated, even Abraham Lincoln, um, J.F. Kennedy. He was a Catholic, but yes, he yes. stood against the that's, papacy's agenda. That's a very so good point. I, that's, those are two so nails can, in sure places. Go ahead, preacher. So I, I am not surprised how a Catholic president have rejected uh, the agenda. He, he was thinking the, those agendas are just from the U.S. or the whites. But what he did knew, and I confirmed that he did, did knew it, that the agendas are from the Vatican. That is the point. And I was making a book to reach him, but it was too late for me. And um, I praise God that he have died with his stand. You know, friends, and several days ago, I shared a video showing how the Pope of Rome has called the Great Reset the New World Order. He actually said that. And all of these things, the so-called Pestilence 1-9 inoculation, it's a part of the Great Reset. And the Pope is calling for a new order, a new world order. Some of you can recall I shared that clip along with the articles several days ago. 
So all of these things are coming from the mother of harlots. And Revelation 17, verse 4, especially verse 6, tells us, my friends, that she has martyred many of God's people. And verse 18 of Revelation 17 says, she reigns over the kings of the earth. Evangelist, any more points yes, as you Pastor. close? Your closing My point. final, my last point is this. From the book, Last Day's Event, uh, page 126, it says, there are many, even those engaged in this movement for Sunday enforcement, who are blinded to the results which will follow this action. They do not see that they are striking directly against religious liberty. There are many who have never understood the claims of the Bible Sabbath and the false foundation upon which the Sunday institution rests on. Mm -hmm. Let me give you this issue. They have this uh, movement, Sunday law movement, have published the uh, published now that Sunday free car, it will be publicly starting by September 50 in Tanzania, just after the death of the president. They are proclaiming that Sunday uh, law free car, wait, it will wait, be- Wait, 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 wait. You said this was just published recently? Yes. And I have, I have it here. You can just go to Google and you can just uh, Google Zekasu in Tanzania, Zero Carbon Sunday in Tanzania. You will Zero get the Carbon news. Zero Carbon Sunday in Tanzania? Yes. And this came out when? This one came out just uh, this week huh. and it have been okay, uh, shared by many no. years. Yes, thanks. Go ahead. And you can see also from the uh, Tedros Asomon Gabrielsas, uh, I mean this uh, sec secretary of the UN. Correct. He posted it on Twitter to no, 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 the not, new... No, no, not the secretary of the UN, This the, the general uh, secretary of the World Health Organization. Yes, WHO. Yeah, thank you. He posted it congratulating uh, Suruhu Samir, the new president uh, in Tanzania, he was saying, I look forward to working with you to keep people safe from COVID-19 and the pandemic and achieve a healthier Tanzania mm. together. So mm. this one is showing that now they're going to work together mm. well uh, because President Magufuli, who was rejecting the agenda, has gone away. So what we need now is a time to reach because they are some of them, they are blinded. They don't know. What we need is to give the message mm -hmm. to the world. As Seventh Adventists who understand the time, we will be required, we will be inquired to pay, to count, to, to count what we are given to do. Mm -hmm. Because we have been given to give the final warning because to open the, the eyes of these blind leaders mm -hmm. who are just working to push the agenda. But if they will understand the results, mm -hmm. they can turn away from it. What oh. we need is mm -hmm. to pray for them, not to judge them, but to pray and work on them how we can open their eyes and God will bless us. That last statement was God-led. If I don't like uh, speculations nor conjecturings, let me ask you a question. Do you, are you aware of the affiliation of the former vice president of Tanzania who is now the president since the death of John Magufuli? Is she in any way linked to the World Economic Forum? Yes, I have confirmed this. Uh, she's a Muslim and she has been working uh, together. She's a member of this World Economic Forum. That's it, okay. And she has been, yeah, okay. that I confirmed. And she has been working with the international affairs to represent the dead president. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Our brother. Have you shared yes, what the Lord has given to you to share? Praise God. Amen. All Amen. right. And I want to thank you just for coming on uh, at such a short notice and sharing. Amen. You, it shows that you are a minute man for the Lord. And of course, friends, Amen. I shared earlier where you can access uh, Edward Maringo's information on his IG page, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube also, and email. 
If the Lord uh, inspires you to support in any way, shape, and form, you know how to reach out to him. Brother, thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you all. And we will stay in touch. Oh, thank you. Okay, God bless. Maranatha. You know, friends, when you look at what's happening there in, in Tanzania, I want to get your, your feedback. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, more so comments, any comments based on what you have heard today, just call in. The number is right there on the screen. Let me see what the Lord has laid upon your heart. 689-777-5198. I'm wondering, look at the difference between a Catholic, even though he's standing up against a Jesuit Pope in John Magafuli, and he sacrificed his life for the people of Tanzania, whom he took an oath to serve and protect. Look at the difference in Jamaica right now. You have a prime minister in the person of Prime Minister Andrew Holness. If you Google his religious affiliation, he's a Seventh-day Adventist, wife and others. And he's going along with the agenda of the dragon, the beast, and the false prophet. Look at the headline that came out yesterday. Prime Minister Andrew Holness and his wife, Juliet Holness, have just received the first dose of the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine. That same one? Hmm. Think about it, friends. And encouraging others. Encouraging others to do the same. Encouraging others to do the same. And you have also the Jamaica Union Conference president also encouraging others to do the same. What's happening among... We are our leaders standing as a true shepherd to protect, preserve the flock. Not to mention the Governor General of Jamaica, Sir Patrick Allen, another premier Seventh-day Adventist. If our people had stood against the dragon, the beast, the false prophet. Oh, my friends, what a difference. The nations in the Caribbean, what a, what a difference they would make standing against the dragon, the beast, the false prophet. Even in America and the different continent, if our people would just stand in the strength of Jesus Christ. Okay, I just missed two calls. 689-777-5198. Your thoughts. Hold one second. Your thoughts. Caller, you're live. You have one minute to share your thoughts. Hi, Pastor. How are you? Doing well by God's grace. I, right. I am a Jamaican. And I was just watching that vaccination process there with Andrew Holness. And if you look closely, Yes, go ahead. And if you notice, at the end of the vaccination process, the cap was still on the needle. So it's a lie. He did not get a vaccine. Hmm. Right? And you can hear the cynical thing when he said, in his voice, when he said, okay, vaccine is vaccine, man, it's vaccine, right? He got nothing. Mm. The cap was still on that needle. Mm. But they are going to pay. God is going to pay them greatly for their actions. Thank you, my brother. Let's keep them in our prayers. Okay. Men who are sure. frail. Thank you. God bless. Right. Thank you. All right, friends. 689-777-5198. What has the Lord laid upon your heart to share? You know, this statement from Barack Obama is really telling. Addressing the UN General Assembly, calling on leaders to work together 
That's Revelation 16, 13, and 14. And criticizing those who seek a simple rejection of global integration. Those who refuse to go along with global integration, which comprises of various so-called solutions that are antithetical to our civil and religious liberties, must be criticized. And not only criticized, must be persecuted. Caller, you are live. You have one minute to share your thoughts, and thanks for calling in. You're welcome, Pastor. Thank you for having me. Um, I believe that they have received some money from the papacy. That's just my thought. And how much silver have they gotten from the papacy to keep them quiet, uh, to have them encourage others uh, to take the pestilence shot? I have no idea. But it seems that they have been bought, as Christ has bought us at a price. And it seems that the papacy has bought them. You know, our model is supposed to be death before dishonor. Mm -hmm. But it appears that their model is dishonor before death. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Pastor. Have Thank a blessed day. God bless. God bless. God bless. Now, how many of you... The number is 689-777-5198. How many of you are aware of what happened in the nation, the country there in Africa with the papacy working behind the scenes and even Seventh-day Adventists also united with the papacy? Um, Sister Henriquez, give me those two two names all right some of you are aware of what happened there in in africa all right friends we are living in a time of crisis and revelation 13 verse 15 through verse 17 god's remnant who refused to go along with his global integration we know exactly what they are going to encounter we are living in some solemn times. And as a result of Mr. Obama's words, criticized those who refused to go along with global integration, what happened to the Tanzania's president? He was criticized. And where is he now, friends? Based on the reports, he's now underground. He's now deceased. But God is going to protect his people. Let us be found faithful in these last days, my friends, let's be found faithful. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we pray for the evangelist Edward Maringo. Blessed his missionary endeavors for you. We pray for every name mentioned here. Keep us faithful in these last days of earth's history is our prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Maranatha.